Hey everyone, my name's Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Profile Tech. And today I found something that I feel like a lot of you might find useful. Being able to detect drive space based on percentage or a specific amount using one of the default monitors. Let's get into it and I'll show you how. So once you have Automate open, come over to your Automation Monitor section. Once that opens up, look for the DRV or Drive Monitoring. You will likely, especially if you haven't done anything custom, you'll likely have these in here, minus the top, of course. If you come down to either the 15% or 2 gig, either one is fine. Definitely do a copy. So I will hit right click, come down to Copy Monitor. Let this reload, open up my copy of the same monitor. And you do that, as we all know, because if you update Ignite or update anything that could reference this monitor, it will just overwrite your settings. All right, so once we have it open here, definitely rename it. So I'll call it less than 10% or 20 gigs. That way I just know exactly what it is. Um, you can probably rename this to be a little more accurate, but one thing it's really easy to change. What you're looking for is inside of this result section. So right now this is saying the drive size minus 10%, or I should say is calculating 10%. And that's what you're comparing it to. So one thing we can do is take advantage of a SQL command called least. So you just type least in all caps, do a parenthesis because you're going to reference multiple values. And so in this case, I have my 10% value already. All I have to do is put a comma and then the gigs that I'm comparing it to. It's kind of a weird way to say gigs, but in this case, I'll just say 20,000. I know that's not exactly 20 gigs, but it's close enough for the example here. Close my parenthesis. And so now I have two values of I'm either selecting 10% or 20 gigs, whichever is the least of those two values, that's what I'm going to alert on. And the rest of this, this monitor here, it's referencing the drive letter, which is good to have. And then we're looking for anything greater than 16 gigs as a drive anyway, and then excluding things that are all of these file types. And the drive space, in this case, we're also doing less than two gigs. so. Um, I can leave this or I can remove it. And then of course you do want to leave the and missing here equals zero. Otherwise you're going to get false alerts on USB drives that somebody has may maybe pulled out. So if I hit build and view, this will run through and anything that's either 10% or 20 gigs will then alert. And in this case we have, looks like two servers here. It tells me what drive letter. And then when I come to the alerting, just have it set to the default create ticket and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvileTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.